Prof. Roof's Virology. In this video, I'm going to discuss human herpes virus number 5, also known as cytomegalovirus. So I'm going to take that word mega, and I'm going to take Megatron from Transformers and use them in this theme. If you look at the letter M, the letter M has five points. Those five points remind you that cytomegalovirus is HHV number 5. All right, so here they are. If you remember in our last story, Hercules was hooking up with some beautiful, beautiful, attractive lady at the bar. This time, he's going to be hooking up with Megatron. However, it's going to cause similar symptoms as Epstein-Barr virus. Remember, he was by the bar? So Megatron gives him a few nice, juicy, I guess you'd say kisses as well, too, causing the same symptoms as a lady caused him by the bar, Epstein-Barr virus. He has a sore throat, pharyngitis, he's got some swollen nodes, a large liver, and in a large spleen. Now, just to add on to this, this is also caused by transplants and transfusions. So to symbolize that, Megatron has transplanted him one of his legs. So this disease is sexually transmitted through vaginal secretions, semen, saliva, and urine. Okay. So, Hercules got Megatron pregnant, and now he is pregnant with baby Megatron. This is going to symbolize congenital problems that can happen transplacentally, through birth, or when the mother is lactating and breastfeeding the baby. Cytomegalovirus, if you know the mnemonic torches, is one of those letters, the letter C in torches. Now, we're going to take the baby out and start doing a few things to remind us of what's going on. If you look at the hand, the hand has a single palmar crease, very significant of mental retardation. Just to remind you that CMV is the most common cause of viral mental retardation. Additionally, we're going to cross the eyes out, causing blindness, putting the word AIDS above, because AIDS patients usually have this type of cytomegalovirus retinitis. Now, the retinitis starts in the mid-periphery of the retina and starts to spread centrally. So that's what I'm symbolizing at the top left. Then it spreads centrally towards the optic disc where the vessels and the optic nerve are emerging. And it spreads like a brush fire. To symbolize that, there's the eye by his leg and it's on fire. You can also remember it by the quotes I put around the word sight. So remember sight o megalovirus that causes AIDS, retinitis, or blindness. Next, I'm going to put an owl on his chest. That's going to indicate owl eye intranuclear inclusion bodies. You can remember that by the owl on his chest or the arrow pointing at Megatron's eyes, just to remind you of those owl eyes. Also, in the microscope view on the bottom, I highlighted two of those owl eye intranuclear inclusion bodies. Additionally, cytomegalovirus has inclusion bodies in the cytoplasm. Now this is very, very characteristic of cytomegalovirus that has inclusion bodies in both the nucleus and the cytoplasm. You can just remember that by the two eyes. So if you remember two eyes, you can remember one for nucleus and one for cytoplasm. One more thing here is marrow transplant. People who usually get transplants get pneumonia. Again, people up top who have AIDS usually get retinitis. It doesn't usually cross over. So just remember that. Again, to remember it, Hercules has a transplanted leg, so he's getting pneumonia. Additionally, there are two eyes over his chest to symbolize the two lungs for pneumonia. Now, this is very important. Hercules didn't mate or have sex with a lady this time. He had sex with a machine, so he's not heterosexual which means they're going to be a negative heterophile, also known as a monospot test for CMV, which is different than the Epstein-Barr virus because remember he mated with a female by the bar, which means he is heterosexual, which means it is a positive heterophile test. So this is going to be a very distinguishing factor between Epstein-Barr virus and CMV. Now for treatment. It's going to take more than one Hercules to beat Megatron. You're going to need a gang of Hercules. So remember gang, remember gancyclovir or valgancyclovir. Acyclovir won't work here because it's a different viral kinase working here. Gancyclovir, however, would work for the first three herpes, one, two, and three, three being varicella zoster, if they are resistant to acyclovir. Valgancyclovir 
is more oral bioavailable, which means when it's taken by mouth, more of it is absorbed into the bloodstream, such as if you give an IV, it's 100% bioavailable. Gancyclovir can also be given intraocularly into the eye of AIDS patients with retinitis. So remember, gancyclovir and valgancyclovir do depend on the viral kinase of CMV. However, the next two drugs do not. Foscarnot. Foscarnot. Just remember that even though Hercules got transplanted some wheels on his leg, it doesn't mean he's a fast car. Not a fast car. I also underlined FOS to remind you of phosphate because it, this drug binds to the pyrophosphate binding site on the DNA polymerase. This drug is administered by IV. Another drug administered by IV and also does not depend on the viral kinase is sidofavir. To remember that, think cytomegalovirus and cytofovir. And that's it.